Hi. Now, if you've watched my previous tutorial on simplifying indices or exponents where we're involved with division, then this is a quick summary exercise that you might like to try. So I'll give you a few moments just to pause the video, have a go, come back when ready, and we'll go through the solutions. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So, let's just start with number one then. In number one, we've got to simplify x to the power 15 divided by x to the power 5. And if you've watched the previous video, you'd have seen that all we need to do is subtract these powers from one another. 15 take away 5 leaves us with 10, so you've got x to the power 10. Now in number 2, in number 2 we've got to simplify 15x to the power 4 all divided by 20x cubed or 20x to the power 3. Now with this one we can see that 5 divides into both the 15 and the 20 so 5's into 15 goes 3 times and 5's into 20 goes 4 times. So what we've got is essentially 3 over 4, or 3 quarters, and we've now got to multiply this with x to the power 4 divided by x cubed. Subtracting the powers again gives us x to the power 1, or just simply x. Now you could leave it like that. I personally prefer it as 3x all divided by 4. OK, I just move the 4 to the centre of that denominator there. OK, well that's that one. Don't make the mistake, by the way, of thinking that you have to subtract these numbers. OK, it's not 15 take away 20. OK, we just find a number, if it exists, that divides both into the top and the bottom. OK, now with number 3 the last example. What we've got then is to simplify 3x cubed y to the power 6 all divided by 12xy squared z. Now in this example again I notice that with the numbers 3 divides both into the 3 and the 12 so we can do 3 into 3 goes once and 3 into 12 goes 4 times. So we've got 1 over 4, a quarter, and then we've got x cubed divided by x. Again, we can cancel this. We've got the 3 here, and we've got the power 1 here. So if we subtract, 3 take away 1 gives us 2. So it's x to the power 2, or x squared. As for the y's, we've got y to the power 6 over y squared. Subtract the powers, 6 take away 2 is 4. So you've got y to the power 4. When it comes to z though, there's no z's on the top here, so you're just left with the z in the denominator. So I could put that all over z. I don't like the look of that. It looks much better, in my opinion, as 1 times x squared times y to the 4, which is simply x squared y to the 4. And then we can divide all of that by simply 4z. And we'll just center that in the bottom there. x squared y to the power 4 all over 4z then. So I hope you were able to get these all correct. If not, and want further practice, don't forget you can always check out how to do this in the previous tutorial.